when did you arrive at that point and felt like, you know what, man, I don't, I don't even, I can't carry that no more? Was it the book or was it before? It was, it was after the book. Um, when I realized like I had to turn my pain into passion, I realized it's so funny because three years later I lost my sister mm-hmm. and I didn't have the same feeling that I did when I lost my brother. I had to realize like everything that I was doing as far as like dropping my books, starting my programs, you know, doing community service, like those type of things with my, with my um, organizations. I had to realize like I had to go through that in order to help others. Like a lot of times when we go, we go through things and we, you know, life is happening. We don't understand why stuff is happening to us. It's really happening mm-hmm. for us. So Facts. like me turning that pain into passion and realizing like when my sister passed away three years later that I can't carry this burden no more. Like mm-hmm. it's not, you know, it's not my fault. However, if those things didn't happen, I wouldn't be the person that I am today. Facts. I wouldn't have a story to tell. You know, I wouldn't be able to relate to so many different people because if that didn't happen, it who would I be? You know, like, so just realizing at that time, um, after I wrote my first book and, you know, doing those things that I was doing in the city, I'm like, yo, like, all right, God, like, yeah, I lost my brother, but I've gained so much, you know, Mm -hmm. and I'm able to, to help people. So when I lost my sister, I'm like, I'm not blaming myself for this. Like, this is bigger than me. This is my purpose. This is my passion. And I think once we realize that mindset of having like, you know, to be able to go through life and even though stuff is happening, it's like, yo, it's, 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 it's past me. Did you need therapy to, uh, you land, said, did you need therapy to land through all those things or, or get, be able to get through them? People wanted me to go to therapy. I'm not going to sit up here and say I did. I did not go to therapy. Okay. Um, I am a Christian woman. I do have, you know. She said, time. I went to God, but I didn't. <laughs> yeah, I, I went- didn't sit on the couch with the lady. <laughs> God is good. God is good. I went to, I went to I, God. Yeah, I had my times where I was able to, you know, sit with myself and pray to God and go to church, you know, talk to different people. I didn't go, you know, to seek professional help. I'm not against that at all. So, all right, but a- yeah, I didn't personally. Yeah, I actually have a, uh, so I always say that I don't need therapy and nothing's wrong with therapy. I think most people do need therapy mm-hmm. and the emphasis is on need. I feel like nothing's wrong with wanting therapy, but you're doing it just because. But I think I look at certain people I know in, in people's situations like if you were tend to do things or doing things or things that happen in life that are like counterproductive you're not in alignment. Um, you're being Why you point at me when you not something with we you. talking about, <laughs> and you're not in alignment. But uh, like certain shit like that, then you probably, you probably need to go to therapy yeah, to yeah. sift through some shit and figure yourself out. Where if you keep doing the same dumb shit, and yeah. you just need to sit down with yourself and the lady and get your shit in order, or whatever. But and also, I feel like and I feel like when people go to therapy, whatever it is, like people tend to just be bitching because mm-hmm. a lot of things aren't that deep. Like it's just like all right, cool, like just break up with the person like it just ain't that deep like just like like bitch like what were we talking about whatever <laughs> but um but however like i always understood like no like sometimes real shit is happening people are dealing with real pain and situations like death and family and you know some people they don't drop out they can't go to school and that's gonna be traumatic to some people because you were forced to leave and shit like that so i understand how those things you might gotta someone needs to help you through that yeah so i always like to hear when people are going through real situations how do they end up going through that whatever but if you don't do it i commend that I so yeah that. i definitely so my thing is, because I actually have had therapy, and I'm in therapy right now, mm-hmm. so I'm going to give y'all from experience, it's not what you think. Like, I feel like, even how we were just laughing earlier on the phone, how we preface, oh, uh, not that therapy is a bad thing, and then you turn around, you just did it. Like, ain't nothing wrong with it, but I just think, it's like, we feel like it's so stigmatized where we come from that it's, it got to be preface that I'm not den- denouncing it when mm-hmm. I say I didn't do it. To both of y'all point, everybody don't need it to work through those type of things, right? Mm-hmm. Another thing, even my therapist says, whatever the kid may be, it is people that are not ready to take accountability. Mm-hmm. So therapy will not work for them. They just want to come in and, you know, perpetuate the same cycle of complaining, which is fine because that is a form of therapy, too. Sometimes that might be all they need to do to mm-hmm. get through the week is complain about it to somebody else. Right. But then there's another thing where it's like therapy only work if you work with therapy. Right. Mm-hmm. So it's like I'm a very self-aware person. So, like, I, I, I don't think I need, but I recommend because um. What I realized even in the last year is we need someone to talk to that don't know us mm-hmm. and that don't know the people we're talking about. That way you'll find yourself saying the really shit you ever said that you would have never said. And I did that more so when I had a therapist that wasn't based, like I didn't know personally. Now I'm still quite uh, super open with my therapist, but I'm comfortable now. Mm-hmm. But I'm just saying when I had this random lady that I was doing it through, like I'm not going to even say the app, but one of them therapy apps, mm-hmm. and I'm just like um, only because they're not sponsoring us. Mm-hmm. I'm, when I did it through the therapy app, I didn't know this lady, so I, she don't know my mom. She don't know my dad. She don't know none of these people. I can say whatever I really feel. And I think you need that because you will never realize how much stuff you holding on to mm-hmm. by way of being able to compartmentalize and filter out conversations mm-hmm. that you, like, you, even if you go to somebody that you feel, like, easy to talk to, 
you still kind of protecting the person you're talking about. Sure, sure, right? Right. You don't yeah. really want to throw your mom under the bus to your aunt or your uncle or your cousin. You so you say how you feel, and you might even say it to them, but you still gonna filter it in a way that's politically correct or to protect their feelings. But when you go to therapy, if you get comfortable enough with your therapist, you are gonna say some shit that you never even realized was so far back here. It might, yeah, it might be that that, that little ten percent left, like that. Yeah. Like, yeah. But what it does is it for me now it's just make it's freeing, right? So it's like. I could talk to my girl. I could talk to my mom. I could talk to my friends. I got a great community of people I could talk to. But being able to talk to my therapist, it just feels like I, I, I'm i allowed to dump on you. Like, this is what you're here for. Like, I don't never got to feel like, am I doing, like, am I too open right now? And making this, am I making draining this person? And it's like, nah, like, you getting paid for this shit. I don't care how you feel. Like, <laughs> this, this is your job. But big shout out to Miss Rhonda. Lay you to death. If you're looking for a therapist, make sure y'all get what a journey from within. Rhonda Boy. Um, and yeah, what, maybe I'll be able to plug her information. I definitely respect that perspective. And I think everything you just said was valid. Um, but to the one of the early points you said, I think, I do think, I understand why, you know, like Key just did, and people often preface it in a certain way. I feel like for a long time, people would just say, I'm with everybody. I ain't fucking stupid or crazy. Like, yeah. It'll be that type of answer. So yeah. I feel like now we've grown to a point where like, no, oh, like I'm going to share my perspective of like maybe why I don't do or I haven't done or whatever. Mm-hmm. But I'm making clear that there's nothing wrong with it. I'm not against it. Right, maybe right. I will one day. Yeah. So it's a weird thing to it, but I also feel like it's still progress in a so, certain way or whatever. Let me ask you this. So if you hear um, a white person like, I don't have anything against black people. And then say some real shit about black people. Do they, like, is that not, like, a similar, you know, correlation? Um, I think that's a valid um, comparison. But, no, I wouldn't be thinking, unless they, unless what they said after is racist. It's like, but if she would say, like, I don't got nothing against therapy, that shit's stupid. Like, I don't got nothing yeah, against you going yeah, to therapy, yeah. but that shit's stupid. So they like, allowed the preface, I don't have anything against black people. And then said something not negative against us. I don't. I don't no, say it's real yeah, shit. Yeah, like whatever yeah. they say is the truth. Yeah, no, like no, black no. people. I don't know. I don't want to say nothing against I don't the know culture. Black that, people, but like, yo, on, like but do y'all really love Beyonce that much? That's just a valid. I mean, a genuine question. I don't Kool- think that's Kool Aid or something. Say Kool Aid. Y'all really love Kool Aid that yeah. much? Yeah. Todd. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Like we really do. Yeah. 